Fergie is single and unleashes her best work yet. Plus, three of the biggest revelations from Lady Gaga's doc. Hey friends, welcome to The Daily Denny. It is Friday and we've got a special fall music preview for you later in the show. But first, I've got a stand for Fergie. Her visual album, Double Duchess, is out today. Her first solo record in 11 years and the new soundtrack to my weekend. All right, the track I have on repeat is Enchante, which, surprise, surprise, her son Axel sings the opening lyrics in. Fergie told E.T.'s Kelty Knight how the special cameos came to be. I remember bringing home Enchante. I'm going, Enchante. And then he starts, Enchante, come on. And I'm going, when your kid sings to you in French, I don't know, something just sparked this little heartfelt mommy pride moment and I just put the phone on the side, like, I'll record. You just posted a little teaser yeah. for the visual experience featuring Ms. Kendall Jenner. Tell us about that. It's on the family, because Kim, right. you know, of course, did um, MILF and I've just known the girls, the whole family for such a, a long time, through different years of our lives. Kendall, we had this kind of random moment at Coachella. She was lip syncing to a song and I remember thinking, wow, she's got like an inner pop star inside of her. And so she really got to kind of come out and play a bunch of different characters and just kind of get her little diva on. Fergie is no stranger to turning famous faces into music video stars. Remember this one? Milo Ventimiglia, who oh. you gave your his big break to in Big Girls Don't Cry. Do you watch This Is Us? Well, no, he was on Heroes. And right. he was, you okay. know, a big heartthrob. And yes, I do watch This Is Us. Are okay. you kidding me? I do live on this planet. It was super fun uh, shooting that video because I got to, you know, have some of the fun that Josh gets to have on his movies. And uh, But of course, I was totally just nervous about the whole thing. I didn't, I didn't know how to make out for camera. I just had to tell him, like, please help me with this. Was like, he a good teacher? He was so great. I bet he was, Fergie Ferg. Okay, we have more of our sit down with Fergie up now on etonline.com and tonight on ET. All right, everybody is talking about Lady Gaga's Netflix documentary that began streaming today. And let me tell you, she put it all out there. And here are three of her most canon moments from the film. First, she gives insight into why she and Taylor Kinney called off their engagement. She believes it could have been connected to her landing the lead role in Bradley Cooper's remake of A Star Is Born. I get the movie, I lose Taylor. It's like a turnover. This is the third time I've had my heart broken like this. She also takes on her feud with Madonna. You'll remember in 2012, Madge claimed Gaga style was a simplistic copy of her own. So the thing with like me and Madonna, for example, is that I admired her always. And I still admire her, no matter what she might think of me. <laughs> no, I do. Yeah. The only thing that really bothers me about her is that I'm Italian and from New York, you know? So like, if I got a problem with somebody, I'm gonna f tell you to your face. But no matter how much respect I have for her as a performer, I could never wrap my head around the fact that she wouldn't look me in the eye and tell me that I was reductive. Ooh, that is what we call spilling the tea, folks. Gaga keeps it real in this whole thing, and she even lets cameras in on her doctor visits as she struggles to combat her debilitating chronic pain. Watch what happens when her hip locked as she prepares for the Super Bowl halftime show. I just think about other people that I can maybe something like this, that are struggling to figure out what it is and they don't have the like money to have somebody help them. Like I don't know what I'd f do if I didn't have everybody here to help me. What the hell would I do? Do I look pathetic?
you would have never known that was going on. And that's just a taste of what you'll see. Lady Gaga 5'2 is streaming now on Netflix. All right, guys, it's Friday, and in lieu of a New Music Friday playlist, we're gonna hit you with Fall's biggest music offerings. For that and more, please welcome our resident music, music expert, Sophie Shalacy. Hi! Hello! Hi. So much good tunes, I'm so, so excited. excited. I know, I'm ready to update yeah. my playlist, and this fall, there is a showdown of the divas. Absolutely, now, you talked about Fergie, she just dropped Double Duchess today, which I am so excited to listen to the whole thing. Next week, though, Miley Cyrus is releasing Younger Now, which is the follow-up to Bangers mm -hmm. and, and the Dead Pets phase. Um, on this one though, she's really going back to basics. It's much more stripped down and she's been really promising to deliver kind of a return to her country roots. She has a song with her godmother Dolly Parton, which is so awesome. I'm so here for this Miley evolution, but she does have some stiff competition because yeah. I know Demi Lovato releases her album on the same day. She Tell does. me you love me, right? But I think there's room for everybody. I think so. And right. Shania's out that day too. Oh my god. So Legends. much music. Right. Yes. Exactly. And I mean, there better be room for all these divas. There are so many great women right. releasing music right now, including Kelly Clarkson, her highly anticipated album, The Meaning of Life, is set to release very soon. She says this is the album she's always wanted to mm -hmm. make. It's the first one not under her American Idol contract, so we can expect a lot of soulful pop songs on this record. It's out officially October 27th. Well, what's so funny, because as fate would ha have it, Kelly's also joining The Voice next season yeah. as a coach, so she's battling Blake Shelton both on the charts and on TV. He's got a new album coming out as well. He sure does. Blake just announced that his 11th studio album called Texoma Sure. It's been a labor of love for the Oklahoma native, and he drops that one on November 3rd. Okay, we can't talk about new albums coming out this year without mentioning, of course, Taylor Swift. Queen Taylor Swift. What can we expect from Reputation? <laughs> well, she's already showing off a fiery new side of herself, lyrically sure. and sonically. It's a totally different side, I think. Look What You Made Me Do was, <sighs> yes, <laughs> the <clogger out. laughs> to say the least. Right, exactly. Uh, it's a 15-track album. It also promises to deliver new twists on those catchy love songs that made her a star. Thank goodness, because long gone are those teenage angsty love songs from Taylor and I'm just hoping for more shade and more tea. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Lots of shade. <laughs> I think I think we can expect that. <laughs> So that drops on November 10th, right? Yes, November 10th. Awesome. And you know I'm a country girl, mm -hmm. so I gotta show love to my fave. Dustin Lynch, his current album, Current Mood, is out right now. I actually invited Dustin here to our studio. We played a little game of oh. emojis. Easily my hardest hit hitting interview yet. <laughs> Just gonna throw it out there. Right. You can catch that on my YouTube series. It's called Certified Country, and it is up right now. It really is a lot of fun, so you guys <laughs> definitely gotta make sure you watch that. Thanks, thanks. for all the scoop, so. Thanks, Danny. Oh, uh, we're ready for fall music. <laughs> yes, we are. All right, thanks, girl. Yeah. We'll see ya. <laughs> all right, you guys, thanks for watching all week long. We'll be back on Monday with a fresh dose of the Daily Denny. So until then, be sure to subscribe to ET's YouTube channel and have a good weekend, everybody. Yeah, we made it. T-G-I-F.